Hi everyone, welcome here, welcome back, welcome to my channel. So this particular video I posted it last year but there were a couple of mistakes that were there. So I decided to rectify those mistakes and repost it now. And uh, yeah, it's a, basically a helpful video for anyone who is deciding to go for a vacation. And I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope it's helpful. Just finish booking your resort or hotel at the place that you chose for your vacation and you're feeling quite confident about the whole trip. Well, there's a fine line between a good trip and a great trip and that line is research. Do some research. You can do it via Google or YouTube. Just do a, some research and search for unique spots, unique places in that location that you chose. So this will elevate your vacation to another level. You'll make uh, it'll make sure that you see places that people typically don't see and also you'll be you'll have a plan you'll have a itinerary for each and every day write down all the off-peak places that you found and also write down places to shop as well as restaurants restaurants is going to make a big difference once you reach there you know exactly where to go eat so writing down the restaurants the good restaurants that you found while researching is important and that will help you greatly So the second thing and most important thing actually is to plan before you pack. So planning before you pack might sound simple and most of you all will be like, okay, I'm going to remember whatever I need to pack and it's going to be in my bag. So that always doesn't work out. When you reach your destination, you might regret not bringing certain things. And to avoid this whole situation, it's better to plan before you pack and write down everything that you're going to pack on a piece of paper. That way you can scratch out everything as you pack it and as you're putting it in your bag and you'll never forget anything and you'll always have whatever you need when you reach your destination so planning before you're packing and writing it down is very important and is going to help you greatly this one might seem like a no-brainer but have you ever started packing and realized that your favorite jeans was in the laundry well to prevent that it's always a good idea to start washing your clothes washing all the laundry before a few days before you start packing so that way you have everything you need before you start packing before you leave on your much needed break it's always a good idea to check on the weather the weather as you know can change at any time and it's always a good idea to check that way you can pack accordingly you can pack your clothes accordingly the shoes accordingly and also if you're not uh, really sure about the weather you can always carry a small umbrella in your backpack or in your bag and that will ensure that you're always prepared for any sort of weather So when it comes to makeup, you might get overwhelmed with the amount of makeup to take, what to take, what will go with what clothes and you might get overwhelmed with the amount of makeup that you have. So the best thing that I can say when it comes to makeup is to take the basics. Basics in the sense, take something neutral, neutral lipsticks, neutral eyeshadow, uh, blush, whatever you have, take something neutral that can go with all your clothes. So that will ensure that you leave back all the bulky makeup, all the other, rest of the makeup and you take something neutral that you can use with everything and you don't have to uh, carry so much of makeup on your vacation. When it comes to accessories, the biggest tip I can give you is think of what you're going to wear and accessorize according to what you're going to wear. So if you know you're going to wear a dress, so you know according to your outfit, take the accessories according to that and don't overdo it. And if you want to go really minimum, minimal and you don't want to take, uh, you know, a lot of accessories or you're going for just a few days and you know you're not going to go and keep changing your accessories, you can go with something basic, something like, um, use something like this no sorry something like this so something like this basic that you know can go with all your clothes or a stud even a stud is good so you can just wear something basic that uh, would go with all your clothes and uh, in fact you can wear it on and go and that way you don't have to really think about what you're going to wear 
uh, with your clothes so go with something that uh, would go with all your clothes and you can just wear it throughout and that way you don't have to keep accessorizing your earrings or anything like that um, otherwise you just take what you're going to wear what accessories is going to fit to your clothes so think about what clothes you're going to wear and accessory accessorize according to that so that's the only tip i can give you when it comes to you know jewelry and all that stuff another tip that i can give you is to buy a little travel kit like this the travel kit consists of small little bottles that you can fill with your body lotions your body wash shampoos and whatever you need that way you don't have to carry the big bottles you can just put everything in these small bottles and carry it it's very travel friendly and this one came with comb as well so i don't have to carry my own comb so these things are very travel friendly and invest in one of these boxes Small little things are easy to forget, and there's so many times that I needed a nail clipper on a vacation and I didn't have one. So nail clipper is very important for me when I go on vacation. And besides that, uh, carrying odomos, if you know that you're going to go to a, a coastal area, there's always going to be mosquitoes. So carry odomos if you know that you're going to go to a place like that. And uh, you can also carry these uh, little uh, perfumes instead of carrying bottles. uh these perfumes are easy to carry you can put it in your purse and you can always have them and uh, earbuds are always a must for me so uh, th that these are small little things that you can carry so by electronics i mean your chargers your cables your power banks anything and everything in this context so what i do is i put it all in one bag and this ensures that uh, everything is organized firstly and secondly it ensures that uh, it's accessible so even if you stop in between uh, your journey and you need something you know exactly from where it is from where to take it from your bag and it is easy to remove things and put it back and it also ensures that you don't misplace anything because you know what you have in your bag if you're forgetful you can always write down the contents of the bag in your on your phone and keep it over there so that you don't misplace anything So by shoe bag I mean any bag it doesn't matter what bag it is as long as it's a bag so the main motive is to ensure that your shoes are kept separately and the dirt from the shoes don't go into your clothes or dirty your bag or anything like that so keeping your shoes in a bag is important while packing and therefore a shoe bag is important it's it's better than wrapping your shoes in paper also So if you want you can wrap it in uh, a paper and then put it in a shoe bag also it doesn't matter and you can just tie it up with a elastic band and you're ready for your journey When it comes to packing your clothes there are two ways that you can go about it one is to roll your clothes and the other way is to fold your clothes so I'll be showing you both the methods The first one is the roll method and it's also known as the army roll or the ranger roll and it is a very simple method all you have to do is fold the bottom and ensure there's a flap like so then proceed to fold again from the sides once you get the uh, look all you have to do is roll the shirt all the way till the end and once you reach the end you find this little flap that i'll be showing you here this little flap that you see and then you take this little flap and you cover the rest of the shirt and it becomes your roll it becomes your very own sausage <laughs> so this is called the army roll and it is very a uh, space saving and uh, it is very organized in your bag so it is very nice to do it just does take a little time but uh, it's worth it in the end and the second method is a fold method fold your shirt like so and then you fold it into a half and then into three quarters like so so this is called the mary kondo method and uh, it's a very efficient way of uh, space saving and again you can fold the shirt into a smaller half and uh, make it more compact while you um, pack 
so this is the fold method that I use and um, there you have it a fold method and a roll method so the beauty of the army roll method is that you can use it with the your pants as well now over here I have my jeggings which I'll be showing you how I fold it using this army method and uh, you can use it with your jeans as well the only difference is your jeans will be a little stiffer on the top uh, while you're folding the flap and also when you're uh, folding the flap over the roll it will be a little stiffer but other than that it is possible and other than that uh, it it uh, looks the same as uh, the jeggings that I'm folding right here, here. so this is how I do it and um, all you have to do is as you did with the shirt you have to roll it after the after making the flap on the top and uh, you just have to fold the flap in over the rest of the roll like so and there you have it the roll method for your pants so this is how it looks both the methods the fold one and the roll one and uh, both of them are uh, space saving and look organized in your bag so now you have two methods to fold Of course there are some things that cannot be rolled like my swimsuit over here um, I couldn't roll it so I folded it and I have a dress down here that I didn't uh, roll it uh, I did just, just didn't want to roll it <laughs> so I folded this one and basically you just roll whatever you can roll and fold according to your judgment uh, the objective is to make the best out of the space that you have and you know making everything compact and as small as you can so that you have whatever you want on a vacation and you don't you know uh, there's nothing that you don't have and you know you, you're comfortable with the amount of stuff that you take on the vacation uh, another thing that I want to show uh, tell you about is um, this take a bag take an extra bag uh, when you go on your vacation so this bag will come into ha uh, come handy when um, if you're coming back and you need uh, you bought some things over there and you want to bring it over you can use this bag this extra bag you can open it and you know fold it up and take it and this one has a you know little button over here that you can roll it up but uh, if you if you don't have a bag like this you can uh, of, of course take any other bag and uh, the objective is to take an extra bag so that you can bring things when you are traveling back and you don't have space if you don't have space in any, uh, in your bags you can use this extra bag also take an extra bag uh, like cloth bag or something in order to put your dirty clothes in it so uh, when you come back if you have some clean clothes or anything like that or in between when you're traveling you know you can't wash anything you can just put those uh, dirty clothes in uh, in the other bag uh, like a laundry bag and then keep it aside from the clean clothes so that you know it's I know it won't uh, make a big difference because it will all be in the same bag but uh, basically it's for yourself you know you'll know which ones are the clean and which one is dirty so it will be easier for you to organize I mean take to, take out the uh, things and uh, when you come back home it will be easy for you to just take everything and put it for wash so taking an extra bag um, for shopping and extra bag for dirty clothes which will contain the dirty clothes and we will be put back into these bags I mean into the you know this bag it'll be put back into this bag <laughs> so another thing that I wanted to say is if you're going for a five days uh, trip always take clothes for six days now the reason is because you don't know what's going to happen you might spill something on you know, a shirt or something and uh, if you take exactly on the amount of uh, clothes that you're going to use uh, for five days and in case of anything in case your clothes uh, you know you end up dirtying it staining it or anything or you end up you know wanting to change twice in a day uh, there will always be that extra you know shirt or extra clothes for you to use so 
it's a it's a good idea to take one extra set of clothes whenever you go um for a vacation according to the days uh one extra set of clothes will be helpful just in case that's just in case so in case of anything you always have that extra set of clothes so and if you don't use it is okay it's just a just in case clothes yeah that's another thing that another tip that i want to tell you i want to show you these four bags so this is basically with the electronics as i showed you all the chargers and stuff this one has medication this one has all my makeup stuff and this one has the toilet toiletry so these four bags are the most important bags and it is best put in bags you know all these things divided put properly in the bag so you know exactly where things are and it will be easier when you remove things you know take things out of your bag you know exactly where it is so putting these things in the bags is important and having these four bags are very important so that's another thing i want to show you the final tip that i want to leave you with is once you finish packing just put one of these fresheners in your bag any smell whatever smell you like put that in in the bag and then close it up so what happens is when you open the bag after <laughs> once you reach uh you get this beautiful smell and also the smell goes inside your fabric inside your clothes so when you put on your clothes also it smells so fresh and nice and uh, it's overall it gives a nice smell uh also when you're traveling and if you have uh, dirty clothes when you're coming back also and this helps uh you know your bag doesn't smell bad <laughs> or sweaty or dirty or whatever and um yeah this helps a lot so this is the final tip that i'm giving you i hope you like this video i hope it was beneficial and i hope it gave you some good tips on how to plan and uh, you know pack for your next vacation and i hope you enjoyed this video basically so that's about it for this video i uh, i will see you in the next one so until then live life and love life don't forget to share subscribe and comment and like my video so that others can see it so i'll see you in the next video till then bye